Hello and welcome to St. Mary's Now, partnership between the Enterprise newspaper and the Four Center TV video production program. I'm Lucas Allisonball. And I'm Dylan Sonny Burt. And here's the latest news from the Enterprise. The Mission Homeless Shelter on Great Mills Road may have to move next year from its current location. The Mission has stood since 2012 on Great Mills Road as a day shelter for the homeless. By day, the shelter offers a food pantry, hot showers, a clothing outreach, haircuts, computers, transportation, and Sunday breakfast to those in need along with job training services. According to co-founder Richard Myers, Myers says those who co-run the mission were hoping to buy the property that they have rented for many years, or that community members would step up to help buy the property. Justin Chillinger, the owner of the property, says they're renting from me and I have not extended their lease. That's about it. A school system report given earlier this week addressed what the public's tax dollars are going toward and how the system is returning investments in students. School staff and county officials and community members gathered at the James A. Forrest Career and Technology Center on Wednesday for the annual State of Schools Address, where the superintendent, Scott Smith, spoke about this year's theme, Return on Investment. He outlined the five categories the school system invests in, safety, engagement, support, challenges, and health. The St. Mary's school system is looking for public input in developing its 2020 to 2021 school calendar. In 2016, Governor Larry Hogan signed an executive order for public school in Maryland to start after Labor Day, but the Maryland Senate passed a later bill essentially nullifying the order, saying that local school boards have control over their school calendars. The discussion of school should start before or after Labor Day has been expanded recently in the St. Mary's County School Board putting out a survey on the issue. The county releases a yearly survey on the calendar to show community support and engagement. The newest survey went live Tuesday morning and received over 1,500 responses within 24 hours. It asks questions like when the first day of school should be, how important it is to keep the scheduled days off like Columbus Day and Veterans Day, and what other days off should be considered. Members of the 2018 to 2019 Fifth Grade Leadership Academy and supporting community leaders present sending smiles with a $500 check from a Penny War fundraiser held last school year. The Leadership Academy is part of the initiative at Leonardtown Elementary School to grow student leadership, along with fellow student clubs into the Kindness Club and Girls. Leonardtown Elementary's leadership program started last year when in school suspension officer Robert Lloyd, pictured here standing next to the, a second grader, Spencer Sepp, stand as the I and Kind campaign on, on October 31st, offered to start a boys' leadership group called PACT. The St. Mary's Reckon football team set their eyes to win the Washington Catholic Athletic Conference Championship again this year after their historic success last year. Knights player and junior Will Johnson had this to say about a recent team meeting. Everyone at that meeting had the same exact team goal, to get back-to-back -back championships for the school and help the team win in any way possible. Our team loves the game of football and loves playing it for each other. The men's and women's basketball teams at St. Mary's College of Maryland have begun the 2019-2020 season, and both programs are aiming for better results than last season. 15-year coach of the Seahawks, Chris Harney, says about the team, We have a whole new offense and defense, and I think the difference is that they are just a really coachable group, and our sponges. They have all been absorbing it, and it has been fun. This news brief has been provided by the Enterprise. For more details, visit somdnews.com. That's all we have for you on this edition of St. Mary's Now. I'm Lucas Osenbaugh. And I'm Dylan Sonny Burke. Signing off.